Welcome back to Melody Guitar Book One. This is a free course designed to help you learn how to read and play melodies in standard music notation. You can download this book for free from my website. I'll leave a link for that in the description. We're on pages 13 and 14, and we have some melodies that mix up quarter notes and half notes. What I'm going to be doing with these melodies from here on out, for the most part, is doing a faster playthrough and then talking through any technical issues and then playing it again at a slower practice tempo. And please play along with the video. This is going to help you out quite a bit. As you play through these, make sure you count the rhythms out loud. And if you need to, write in some note names and sing or say those note names as you play. Number 14, two lines long, and it's in 3-4 time. One, two, three, one. Ready, play. The notes in number 14 aren't that challenging. It's the same three notes we've been playing, E, F, and G. When we have songs in 3-4 time, sometimes it's tempting to hold on to the third beat a little longer. Most of the music you hear is in 4-4 four, four time, so we naturally want to extend that beat a little bit. So make sure you're playing 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and always moving right on to the next measure after you play that quarter note on beat 3. One, ready, play. Here's exercise 15. Whenever you look at a new piece of music, make sure you look at the beginning of it to see what the time signature is. One, two, one, two, ready, play. The counting for number 15 is pretty straightforward. A lot of times we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In the second line, third measure, make sure you're counting through both of those half notes. Each of them gets two beats. It's really tempting and easy to blow by the longer notes, but you wanna make sure you're counting every beat of the longer notes. One, two, ready, play. Number 16 is in 3-4 time. One, two, three, one, ready, play. In number 14, we had half note plus quarter note 
one, two, three, one, two, three. In number 16, that rhythm is reversed, and now we have quarter note, half note. So now we're counting one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way through. One, ready, play. Exercise 17, we're back in 4-4 four, four time. The counting is a little trickier on this one, and we'll talk about that after the playthrough. One, two, one, two, three, four. In 4-4 four, four time, the half note is usually either going to start on beat 1 or beat 3, but in this case, the half note starts on beat 2. And check out the counting underneath. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. And after you're done with that fourth beat, move right on to the next measure. Don't put a pause. What I hear a lot of my students do at first is do 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't want that. The beat has to keep on going. So this is going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In the second line, we have some different notes, but it's the same rhythm. Starting from an F. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And watch out in the third measure of the second line of number 17, we have that same rhythm, but on beat four, instead of staying on a G, we move to an F. So that measure right there is gonna be one, two, three, four, and then to the E's. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. Page 14, number 18. We're in 3 4 time. 1, 2, 3, 1, ready, play. In measure two of exercise 18, we have a half note followed by a quarter note, one, two, three. And then at the end of the first line of number 18, that's reversed, we have a quarter note followed by a half note, one, two, three. We have that same rhythm at the very end of the second line on an F, one, two, three. So watch out for the counting in this one. And in the second line of number 18, measures one and two, you can keep your first finger down after you play this F. If you keep that down while you move to the G in the next measure, then you're ready to play it again at the end of measure two of that second line. One, ready, play.
Number 19 is in 4-4 four, four time. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. In measures 1 and 3 of number 19, you're going back and forth between E and G quite often. When you're playing your E, make sure you're keeping your fingers close to the strings. Keep that third finger hovering above that third fret so it's ready to get right down on that G note without much motion. At the beginning of the second line of number 19, I suggest keeping your F down when you play your G on beat 3 because you have to get back to an F in the second measure of that line right after the G. So if you keep that first finger down, it's all set to go. You just need to lift your third finger. Keep it down here, and then lift your third finger to get back to that F. One, two, ready, play. Your assignment is to practice exercises 14 through 19 on pages 13 and 14. Make sure you're keeping your fingers close to the fretboard, first finger on the F, third finger on the G, keeping your fingers curved, playing on your fingertips with your thumb behind the neck. Make sure you're holding your pick between your thumb and your first finger and that your guitar is straight up and down and not flat. Also work on keeping a steady beat, which you can do by playing along with the video, or get a metronome and play along at whatever speed you like. That's a lot of exercises to work on, so take as much time with this as you need, and when you're ready, I'll see you on page 15 with a new note. <laughs>